thing. If you have that feeling inside you, it's not all in your head because you're kind of, we've all done it, going yeah. back and forth. Does she like me? Does she not like me? If you're thinking that, something is going on and that's great. The topic of this video, uh, I think it's pretty interesting, right? And you can probably relate to this and it's all about the big secret friend zone fear that's really holding you back. And the ironic thing is that when you realize what this fear is, you're actually going to realize it's a great thing. They're gonna be excited. You're gonna be excited. So I'm gonna kind of turn it over to Chris. Um, he actually turned me on to this idea and, and, and let me see my own fallacy because I had this same fear. I suffered from the same fear and chances are if you're in the friend zone, I can almost guarantee that you have the same fear. All right, it's like this. I can guarantee right now, if you're sitting at home, you're not sitting there worried if you're going to make a move on Jessica Alba tonight. That's not one of your fears right now. Why? Because you'll probably never meet her. And two, even if you met her, I mean, no offense, but it'd probably be, for any of us, a million to one shot. So you're saying there's a chance. But the thing is, the only guys who are worried about you know making a move on a movie star that they've never met, those guys are called stalkers and yeah. you know you know they're going to be in jail or Spend or the nut house. yeah they're going to be they're going to be the guy that they're going to be 50 years old alone because they're like waiting for some woman that is not really in their life she's not a opportunity right. exactly so that so that's not you so the point is when you know when you say you know you have female friends you, you know a girl is totally not into you 100% you don't fear making a move on her you don't think about it you don't fear it it's nothing to you why because you know she's not into you so when does the fear of making a move always show up? Well, it always shows up when you're getting indicators that a girl likes you, but some of those indicators are a little mixed. So let me give you an example. So it's like, yeah, we grab drinks after work, but she's never called me up on the weekend. Or she sat on my lap, but she was talking about this other guy. Mm -hmm. um, she flirts with me one day, the next day she's distant. That's what I'm talking about, mixed signals. When you get those mixed signals is when you get that fear of making a move. Yeah, I, I, I can remember various, you know, we've all had uh, various friend zone situations and that is the most frustrating thing. I can think of one uh, girl in particular really became really good friends, um, but friends where it wasn't quite friendship, right? Because there was always that side where she'd want to, we'd be at a party for instance, right? And she'd always want to be like kind of in the corner talking to me. And in my mind, I'd be like, well, if, if, if she's at a party and she's kind of into other guys, wouldn't she want to be socializing? But she's right. happy to be here with me. But then she would say something like, like Chris mentioned, she'd, she'd go like, oh, you're such a, you know, you're, she'd say something like that would insinuate I wasn't her type or that mm -hmm. I'm there, you know, and I, and it'd be like fucking with my head, you know, and you always have the friends going, just, just make your move, just tell her just how you feel, it. just do it, whatever. And as Chris said, it was like, a very conflicting thing because it wasn't so much that we're scared of rejection. And, 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 and I think this is what I meant earlier when it's not the fear you think, right? Because fear of rejection, I don't think really bothers too many of us. Like if Jessica Alba rejected you, he would be like, <laughs> whatever. If, if some girl walking down the street, top, you know, beautiful 10, you walk up to her, you gather the courage and you go, Hey, can I get your phone number? And she's like, get away from me, creep you'd probably just be happy that you had the balls to even right. do it. You know, most guys wouldn't have, so that wouldn't even bother you. It's more when you're getting the vibe because then it becomes more about, well, she is kind of into me, but what if I'm wrong, right? Yes. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah, so just to back it up just a bit, getting these, having this feeling, your fear of making a move, I'm telling you right now, that's a good thing. You should be happy about that. That means something is going on because a lot of guys, when they have that fear of making a move, you kind of feel paralyzed, I'm in the friend zone. The first thing you gotta realize is this is a great thing. If you have that feeling inside you, it's not all in your head because you're kind of, we've all done it, going yeah. back and forth, does she like me? Does she not like me? If you're thinking that, something is going on and that's great. Now, to get back to your point, the number one, the real fear we have, it's not even rejection because rejection isn't even as bad as this. The number one friend zone fear we have is misreading mm. these signals. So it's like this, like, so, so you finally go to, to make your move and the girl's like, you thought I liked you? Like, you know, she's laughing. She's like, where'd you get that idea? Like, why, why would you think I liked you? So that fear of misreading the signals, that type of rejection just 
paralyzes a guy with fear, even though it's such a great thing that you're getting the mixed signals, it means something's going on, mm -hmm. but that's the number one fear that keeps us stuck in the friend zone, the fear of misreading her signals. Yeah, it's true. It's like, it's that idea of, you thought I was, like, are you crazy? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're like, like what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so, one of the things that, and, and I wanna kind of segue this, right? Because Chris and I are hosting a, a, a master class. It's completely free. And it's called The Friend She Falls In Love With, right? And one of the things that we talk about in this master class is this idea that the, this fear that's holding you back is because you believe that when you have this female friend and you're experiencing these signals, it's like, I have to make this big, bold move. Ooh, the big move. The big, bold move. And I'm either gonna get a, oh my God, you're totally, you know, you're totally wrong about this. Oh, right. you thought something, or you're gonna get, oh my God, I've been waiting for this to happen, right? right. And most guys have that. It's either gonna be one or the others is the way you think about it. And what we've discovered, Personally, I've discovered it and we're gonna kind of share some of our experiences from our personal lives in it But we've also been coaching guys for 10 years and we discovered that Taking a female friend and having her fall in love with you It happens in a completely different way than right. most guys think it doesn't <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen with oh my god I've been waiting for you to confess your feelings or it, it, and it's not oh my god I never thought of you this way. You're only a brother to me. It's this in-between line and it's very easy to navigate when you know what you're doing and Chris taught me a lot of this. I actually heard a speech of his uh, about 10 years ago. I don't know, how was it? 10, 10 years, about 10 years 10 ago. 10 years ago, he, he, he's never done this speech. And I go, you've got it. We got to do a class where you just teach this because I've, you know, I've kind of talked to some of my personal clients about it and they all, it blows their, their minds when I tell them this, but I've never talked about it in a class setting. So I got Chris to do a class and we're going to do a couple of these. There's going to be a couple sessions to choose from. It's called The Friend She Falls In Love With. There's going to be a link below this video. Um, I highly recommend, it, it doesn't matter, when we say friend, Chris, um, you're talking, this is the same system for what? Uh, yeah, co for, yeah, for, you know, girls at work, girls, you know, from school, friends, your social circle, a, a wide range of your, of your female friends. Yeah, it's not just like, oh, we're BFFs. It's like social circle, work kind of girls. We all have one, we all have yeah. one. I mean, everybody sitting at home right now, unless I guess you're married, has one secret girl they're thinking about and in love with. You know. And I want to leave you with one thought. If there's a girl that you have this fear with, right? <laughs> if you are kind of seeing these mixed signals, I just want to tell you, you're this close. That's true. To making her your girlfriend, to having her fall in love with you, or to getting her into bed if that's what you're looking for. So join us on this masterclass. Uh, it's going to be really fun. I can yeah. tell you, I've, I've heard the speech and it's going to blow your mind. So make sure you click the link below and we will see you there. <music>